Here we are observing a lonely wargamer in his natural habitat, thinking on what move to make next. Used to isolation and playing with himself, the excitement is building and palpable in anticipation of an explosive release of sixes. Now to measure himself, but with no one to tell him six inches just isn't long enough, he convinces himself that it is. Perhaps he needs a friend or a companion to play with. He is aware. He can hear. You, you, yes, you, do you know of Tabletop Simulator? It is a way to play virtually. Does that sound good? Then go, make your way to the computer, and find a friend to play in these darkest of times. Hello, and welcome to Broadsword Wargaming. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Tabletop Simulator, and letting you guys know whether I think it's any good. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please do think about clicking that subscribe button for more videos to come because this video is on Tabletop Simulator. This is a program you can download through Steam for about 15 pounds, $20, wherever part of the world you're from. And it is essentially a 3D virtual tabletop game. You can play things like Warhammer 40K, Kill Team, you can play card games, board games, all sorts of things that don't involve physical within the two meter interaction of each other. Sounds good. I'm a bit sick of standing in the studio playing with myself, so I thought I'd rather play with someone else. Um, so I dropped a message to Andrew from Glass Half Dead. He does loads of other awesome Kill Team content. Check his channel out, but for this one, we decided to do a little collab, and he's playing it, and I'm playing it, and we're playing together on a live stream version. Uh, we're gonna play Kill Team. I've already set my team up and done a few other bits, but I'm gonna run through the software, the program, setting up, how easy it was, playing a game, and then I'll meet you guys back here at the end to give you my overall review of it as a product. So I'll catch you guys at the end. So I jumped down to my computer. I'd already installed it uh, through Steam by this point. I think it was £15 or $20 to do. Not too bad, wasn't really sure what to expect at all. I'd had a play around before this, but you're met with this greeting screen. Don't know what that means. Don't really know how to do anything, so I thought I'd have a play around and create a team. Uh, you get this screen here. Now the workshop is normally empty, but this is the bit you need and you have to go through Steam Library to get it, but I'll show you how to do that in a bit. But I've managed to find myself a team of Dark Eldar Jukari. These are the guys I'm going to be playing. I actually wanted to play Grey Knights, but uh, hadn't figured out how to get a team at that point. These are what you get, visual representations of your models. Pretty good actually, you can see what they all are, they're very clear. There are stats and things on them as well, but they are for 40k. Uh, they don't actually play a relevance in the game because it isn't like a structured game. It's exactly as if you were playing at home. So these are the models you would bring with you. There's my Dark Lance and my Blaster, uh, quite clearly denoted by the weapons. Yeah, it, it does not really like a, a set format. It's more, you have to know the rules, you have to play the game, and these are just figures. So you can actually pick and drop them up and copy them. Like I was one Drakari Cabalite short, so that's my full team. Uh, I save this. You can play around with maps. There's loads of different maps you to download. Here's just a random one. This is Kill Team Forest. You do actually get these error messages. And these are, I think, if the mods, if there's a file that's not downloaded or has been deleted or cannot be found. So that's why the hills are white at this point. But just keep playing with maps until you find one where it's not like that. You have all the bits and bobs generally around you on the side. So you have places for your dice. You have like little calculators or CP or VP parts of the game, uh, places to record those scores. It's really good. It kind of gives you everything you need. You get tokens, you get dice. As you can see, you've got trees. I mean, there's a CP calculator there. So you just have to upload your models, which would be in objects. These are just random things you can see. But if you go into objects, go into saved objects, that's my kill team. You can just put them into this map. Uh, hit the enter button so they drop down when they've all loaded. And boom, there you go. Now, do be aware the bases do actually flip around as if you're playing real games so if you stick them on the side of something it might very well fall over you can pick them up quite easily and correct them but it's a little bit janky you can turn models to face different places you can group move them you can move them individually so there you go he can go up there and i can turn him around or wherever he wants to go uh, if i want to get a group of models in one go i can just click and drag on those as well and that will let me move them separately I can imagine this being a bit of a pain if you're playing a huge game of 40k with like Tyranids and Guard or something because 
I mean, it's fine here in individual models, but I don't think I'd fancy moving like 200 terminants or something uh, would just be really frustrating. But drop the models around, deploy as if you would normally, and you're kind of good to go. I'll show you some footage from the actual game against Andrew. To download the models, what you need to do is go into the workshop via Steam and type in something like Warhammer Space Marines or Warhammer Drakari or Warhammer Grey Knights. You won't actually get, or Kill Team Grey Knights, you won't actually get the words Kill Team come up. It'll just say Warhammer. So download or subscribe to one of these mods. There are loads around there and you'll be met with this. And this is how you'd build your Kill Team. This would be a, a modded simulator for every single loadout for the Dark Angels, for example. Go through these, pick the few things you want, copy them if there's only one of them there and put them to the side and then save that as a team. But as you can see, really in depth, you've got all the different models here, all types of loadouts for your sergeants, all types for your devastators, for your scouts. They've even got Thunderhawk gunships around. I mean, pretty good and these look quite nice. So just pick your team, save that, then go into the browser if you wanna play a game. So I was playing Andrew, so I met him there and we played the game. The TTS mod, um... It's not annoying, we just, this is our first time using it. Yeah. I can totally see this actually being really intuitive and quick to play once you know what you're doing. This was the map we settled on. It wasn't the most exciting one, but it was simple, it was easy, and we could see what was happening. So all the dice counters are everywhere, the model counters. It's really intuitive and quite easy to play. You can measure stuff. You're just relying on your friends or yourself to be relatively forgiving when it comes to exact measurements. But... Good fun, really enjoyed it. And if you want to see what happened, a little highlight or how it ended, check out the stream, but I'll show you right now. Live dangerously. I'm going to shoot again. Yeah. D6. Fuck off. All right. Great <laughs> stuff. The guys might as well hit, but he doesn't have any shape. Oh, two hits anyway. Oh, it didn't make no difference. It didn't make any difference. It didn't make no difference, mate. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, wounding on uh, threes. I'm scared now. Just one. 80 six, minus one. Six plus, followed by a six plus. Two sixes. And again. Oh. It's just one injury, and I can't yeah. re-roll it. Yes! Oh. We're okay, he survived. Son of That's, a gun. That feels like a bit of a win there for me. That so you I get two. four points. Yep. I get one. Seven to nine. If it wasn't clear, one nil to Broadsword Wargaming. Well, there you have it. A game happened. What do you think to that? Um, for me, an interesting bit of software. It allowed us, we got through it, we played the game, and it allowed us to get what we wanted out of it. I managed to have a game with someone else in a different country while I don't be able to get there. So kind of good for that. It's a little bit janky and a little bit sluggish, but I appreciate that there must have been tons of time going into doing this because there are so many different interactions on so many different board games and things. So. Congrats to all the mods and everyone who ever makes these games. Uh, amazing stuff, for, especially for like 15, 20 quid. Does it replace board games and tabletop stuff for me? No, I don't think it really does for anyone. Uh, I, I much prefer having models. I like painting, I like doing nice terrain. And I like the social interaction you get with someone from doing that. But in the current situation where we can't do that, this is a really good option. It's a good way to learn the game. It's a good way to test out some rosters and to sort of practice things as well. Quite like it for that element, but if I'm playing computer games, which I'm not a huge computer game player, I'd rather be playing things like Total War, Blood Bowl 2, Mordheim, other things you can play against other people in a sort of smoother, larger setting. But there's no rush you can play 40k, and you can't play on your own all the time, so definitely good for that. Bit janky, bit sluggish, but worth the money. Not necessarily for me, but I can understand why other people would love it, and I have no qualms about playing it again. To kind of there we go. If you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the alarm bell for more videos to come. Check out all the links below. There's stuff down there for Geek Gaming. Those guys are shipping away. Uh, that's all your basing products and your board stuff. There's Grim Dice out in Grimsby. Those guys are still shipping and working away as well. They are use the code BWG in the link below, and they've still got whatever stock they've got. And obviously, finally, there's my Patreon. This is for the guys who are really supporting the channel. Thanks very much. It's growing. We've got a Discord group going now. There's some Patreon-only content going out. So really worth it, and it supports me. It helps me as well, so I can give you more videos. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you in another video. Take care.